at the Australian Open for the first time. Je sais le match, Nadal. 6-4, A regal Rafa performance at Wimbledon. He's the champion again. The world number one triumphs. Who will be the last man standing at the 2010 U.S. Open? Dow has never been at his best on the hard courts here in New York over the course of his career, but he was a semifinalist the past two years. All year in 2010, Nadal has been priming for the U.S. Open, hoping to add this to his resume and become only the seventh man in history to win all four major championships across a career. Once again, everyone around the world watching the tennis from the United States Open. Yeah. <laughs> well, got in a long rally. Played it as well as Nadal did on the last shot. <laughs> Again, squeaks through the tiebreak, has a two-set lead. Finally, Dahl gets a break. He goes up 4-3 here on the third. Wow. He's a game away from round two here at this U.S. Open Championship. He's done so well. He's done such a high level. Backhand from Nadal, and that was really not that long, and it's a three-set match. It goes just three minutes short of three hours. Six three in the third for Nadal into the second round. So the crowd will be into this one. A lot of Nadal fans all over the world. Good tonight, he's up the set. Oh, wow, that's 
a great point. Had to throw himself at the ball and still controlled it for the pass. And that brings him to their feet here at the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Another athletic move, both players bringing out the touch around the net. Tournament and having the chance to win three straight Grand Slam tournaments means to you? I told you now. <laughs> I don't want to talk about win here now because this year I'm five matches away, so it's a lot, and we will see what happens. Important victory for me. I'm in semi finals in all time. In great night, full stadium. Thank you very much, everybody, for, for the crowd.
decided to start hitting the ball and really going for his power shot. Novak Djokovic goes to the final of the U.S. Open. Please welcome our players for today's U.S. Open Men's Singles Championship match. Novak Djokovic. Nadal's looking to become the first man since Rod Laver in 1969 to win the French, Wimbledon, and U.S. Open Championships in the same season. Furthermore, he wants to record a career Grand Slam. 4.22 Eastern Time in New York. Wow, that's a great start. set goes to the top seed, Rafael Nadal. Oh, and he goes and explodes. He lifts himself off the ground. Got it. Yeah. He's a terrific return at the feet of Nadal. He couldn't shuffle fast enough to make the shot back. Seven or even. Is that a piece? Who is the best player in tennis this year? Well, you have to give the that title to Nadal, you know, because he has won uh, he has won uh, everything uh, on clay, French Open, Wimbledon. He's been playing so well, and that's why he's number one. So, uh, I mean, the rankings don't lie.
good. Challenger, challenger. He got the paint. I don't know whether Djokovic could see it or not, but he, but he's, yeah, he's he just enjoying the moment that the crowd is appreciating the effort. Oh, let's Both call the players, end. but it looks like he is challenging. He must have called it immediately. And it was good. Championship points. Two times down. to congratulate Rafa and his team for an amazing tournament and uh, <clears throat> right now he's uh, the best player in the, in the world and he absolutely deserves this title well done again this had been the one grand slam that you hadn't been able to conquer until today What does it mean to you to now be a U.S. Open champion? You know, uh, that's more than what I, uh, I dreamt, you know, so it's just amazing to be here in this final for me. Just the right to this final was, was amazing. And when I now have, have the trophy here in a few, in a few seconds with my hands, going to be, <laughs> <laughs> going to be unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2010 U.S. Open Men's Championship, Rafael Nadal.